Olympics but that was at the 100 kilogram category so he's moved up a little he equaled the Olympic record incidentally in this event the snatch 180 kilograms on that occasion and uh, was uh, as I said fourth overall we'll have to see how he goes here he really does have a whole host of uh, uh, performances in the top uh, six and five in major championships over the years since uh, 1984 he uh, was I was just thinking eighth place in the last uh, European Championships earlier on this year and he's missed that badly first attempt uh, then all red you can see the three dots well they're the three lights and of course three white lights indicate success two whites would give a success but three reds of course that tells its own story so not fee second attempt then at 162.5 kilograms it's his second lift three lifts allowed only so you've got to get it absolutely right now can he hold out can he hold out Ooh, there was a moment there where he had to struggle and let's look at the lights it looks okay the home crowd applauding that 162.5 they've got the three white lights and uh, Bok Fee experienced in every way are you watching when he gets underneath the bar into the full squat position there's a long long moment where he composes himself there and then begins the lift there that is so difficult so the three white lights up and Schubert of the Federal Republic of Germany is next up. We saw him uh, lift his second attempt at 157.5. He got that. He's now moved the bar to 162.5, but it's his third and final lift. So he needs this uh, desperately, really. He's down in, what, uh, ninth or tenth place at the moment. Uh, having said that, uh, the big uh, lifters are still to come. We've got to have uh, Botev yet. And... Uh, Muk uh, Hamidyarov of the Soviet Union. Oh no, 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 no. No, nowhere near that, and uh, no need for those three red markers, really. And that's uh, his uh, snatch uh, complete. Schubert from Berlin, from TSC Berlin. Been lifting since 79 and found that very tough. You can hear the announcement in the background, probably for Saltsidis of Greece. Uh, he's coming in at 165 uh, kilograms. I've not seen him before. And uh, having said that, he ranks 18th in the world this year, uh, having snatched 165 kilograms. At least that's the official uh, weight on the uh, world rankings. But he's certainly a much improved lifter this year. And he's going to come in at 165, so he's quite clearly gone well in training and gone well since the world rankings were formed, because uh, uh, that quite clearly would be folly to come in at uh, a maximum. Not a great tradition uh, from the Greeks in this uh, event, but this man, 23 years old, been lifting since uh, 1982, believe it or not. He was a soccer player before he took up uh, uh, weightlifting got the best total of 367.5 had to work for that but he's got it I think yes he has and that's a very fine lift indeed he looked very confident too well he'd be pleased he's uh, going well let's have a closer look at it now he's got to move that bar very very quickly on the snatch get underneath it compose himself and then drive those big legs upwards well, certainly that was a competent uh, piece of lifting. This is Nemeth of Hungary, incidentally, waiting to come out in front of uh, his home crowd. Only 20 years old, coached by Gluckman Pal, a uh, former uh, competitor in the World Junior Championships, and has done quite nicely. He was sixth in uh, 1989 and third this season, and so with a total of 352.5. By total, I mean the weights achieved at snatch and the discipline that follows, the clean and jerk, or jerk as it's known, 
those two added together so he's an up-and-coming fella he's quite big and uh, quite clearly at the beginning of his career so Laszlo Nemeth comes in for his first lift chooses this as his starting point 167.5 making sure that those feet have the grip they require the grip is wide he's gonna have to move that bar fast oh no well he didn't get underneath the bar and uh, the judges didn't really have to think too hard about that one and so Nemeth under a little bit of pressure here and he'll have to take his second lift at the same weight I would think because that looked very very difficult indeed and he may well have put himself under some pressure that he can't get out of we'll have to wait and see well Salt Cedis at the moment looks to impress me I can tell you that a young man from Greece with no previous experience is going well we're going to take a break of Hungary in front of his own crowd in some difficulty and it's Nemeth who comes out for his second lift at the same weight that he failed the first time 167.5 and uh, Nemeth didn't look anywhere near it on the first attempt doesn't look that confident at the moment he's only a youngster though and these are his first uh, major uh, championships as at senior level having said that uh, he's of course a uh, bronze medalist in the world junior championships with an overall total of 352.5 that uh, was earlier on this year but uh, this is a different uh, stage here now second lift oh no he's in desperate trouble and that was worse than the first attempt now the coaches are going to have to talk to him and they're going to have to build him because uh, the 20 year old is in real trouble close to the bar long arms passive drives those legs fast tries to get underneath the bar there seems to be in a reasonable position but he was nowhere near under and with control second failure well certainly Nemeth is in all sorts of trouble uh, Bok of Hungary this is his third lift he's at 167.5 um, previous lift 162.5 one of the most experienced uh, was fifth in the European Championships back in 1984 and has been doing quite well ever since oh no and what have I said and this uh, Hungarian a best total this season of 382.5 that is to say this snatch a uh, discipline total added to the jerk discipline total now I threw the bar backwards in fact and that lift and his balance went backwards too so 162.5 is what he'd have to stick with now this really is a big lift and look at the Hungarian coaches uh, they really are trying to get some confidence into this 20 year old Laszlo Nemeth it's his third lift he came in it chose 167.5 as his first lift he must have felt confident because uh, he, well, he wouldn't have selected it and uh, in warm-up in that room behind that stage he quite clearly was performing well and they made the decision but he's failed twice at this uh, weight already so it's do or die quite clearly if he doesn't achieve this then the snatch goes out of the window he's still got uh, a chance in the jerk the second of the disciplines but the overall total will have gone too because the snatch uh, total is added uh, to create that overall total so this is the big lift for the big uh, junior in his first major world championship third lift at the same weight he's got to get it oh that was better that was better and he saved himself I tell look at that look of relief on the coach at the left of your shot oof he said that was close oh I say closer look at this technique it was absolute total commitment for this the look on his face as he got underneath the bar this time stumbled forward but managed to get control two failures third lift was a good one well, Stefan Bote. This is the man that we featured at the beginning of the program. He is the reigning world champion. Not at the snatch, I might tell you. If I remember correctly, he came about fourth last time in this. He uh, was such a superb clean and jerk uh, competitor. His uh, jerk is so superior. But Botev has come in and chosen 180 kilograms as his first lift.
The Bulgarians, of course, have struggled since uh, Seoul to establish some credibility since the whole of their team went home after a couple or three of their members were found positive on the drug testing. And, of course, since the drug testing has now reached uh, great heights, uh, Manfred Doniker of Cologne has uh, introduced a new test, and I understand that several competitors didn't even get here to these championships. Falling short of the standards. Oh, yes. Botev. A little nod. And he goes into the lead with 180 kilograms, and that's a very nice lift. You might wonder how that compares with world record standards. Well, Zakharayevich of the Soviet Union holds the world record for the snatch at an incredible 210 kilograms. This is 180 from Botev. Gets under it beautifully, doesn't he? Such control. Feet solid on the deck. Just that odd little shuffle of the right foot. And then he is the leader. And certainly in the driving seat. 190 kilograms for Botev. Stefan Botev. Top ranked in the world this year. Former world junior champion. Silver medalist in the European Championships of 87, again in 88. World champion in 89. European champion in 89. And again earlier on this year, the European champion. He achieved in those championships 195 kilograms in this particular <laughs> discipline. It's okay. Well, that is near now setting targets that the others uh, will find difficult, I fancy. 190 kilograms achieved on the second lift. He's the leader. And Saltsidis of Greece in second place at the moment, ahead of uh, Bukharomedirov of the Soviet Union. Saltsidis 172.5. So you can see the difference now. And this is a much better performance uh, by Botev in this first discipline. Look to me to be one or two of the uh, Greek fans in this uh, crowd here. So, applause as you can hear for the master. Stefan Botev en route, uh, one fancies, to a gold medal in this first of the disciplines, the snatch. A continuous movement of the bar right the way above the head and then to stand with control. And I can tell you now that it's at 200 kilograms. And that will give him an enormous advantage over Saltsidis of Greece, who has 172.5, and Mukhamedirov of the Soviet Union, 170. So if he succeeds here, then it'll be a very big margin indeed. And his strong event is yet to come, the clean and jerk. So if there was ever a favorite, this is him. I can see only injury can prevent him going on to win the gold. Oldest held it, held it, he's held it, he's held it. Oh, and the crowd now responding to a superb performance. 200 kilograms then for Stefan Botev of Bulgaria. The master is back, the reigning world champion on course to retain his title. So fast, his legs overcome that bar, the inertia of that bar so quickly, and watch this such power in those quads and the control and the victory is his there you've got the series 200 kilograms well there you have it Stefan Botev of Bulgaria 172 and a half from Mukhedimirov of the Soviet Union 170 in third place Hungarians in 5th and 6th on home territory, and a pole Banaschak splitting them. Well, that's it uh, for the moment. We're going to come back and see the next of the disciplines. Meanwhile, we're going to take a break. Back to Budapest, to the National Sports Centre for these World Weightlifting Championships. We've seen the snatch, and we've seen Stefan Botev leading from Saltsidis of Greece, from Mukamedirov of the Soviet Union. But a big lead by uh, the, the Bulgarian Botev 
at 200 kilograms and that really must set him in very very fine stead there's uh, Schweitzer there are two groups here incidentally group A and B Schweitzer is the overall leader so far with 200 kilograms in the clean and jerk the second of the disciplines and you just saw there the overall leader Banasak of Poland with a total of 367.5 kilograms that means that Banasak has now finished and we'll have to wait to see who goes beyond him and one or two certainly will but we're back to pool A here this is Nemeth of Hungary it's his first lift he's chosen 195 kilograms and these coaches know that uh, my goodness he had some trouble with the uh, weight that he chose for the snatch and with the clean and jerk well will he fare better if you remember back he had to attempt the same lift three times uh, did Nemeth 167.5 kilograms in the snatch and got it on his third and final attempt now that's the first phase now I'll use those big legs to overcome the inertia of that bar he does so now he's got to control it yes he is he nods in as the three lights the white lights light up and 195 kilograms then in this A pool, one of the judges incidentally there gave him a red light but two gave him white and this does happen sometimes but it's a majority decision he's quite tall long way to move that uh, bar and that really is uh, a lot of weight to shift incidentally the world record in the jerk at this particular weight category is 250.5 kilograms by Yuri Zakharovich of the Soviet Union again and that really is quite an incredible total well, Schubert, uh, this is Michael Schubert from the Berlin Club, TSC Berlin. And uh, he's not done too badly. Seventh in the snatch in the World Championships of 87. Uh, fourth uh, in the snatch in the Olympic Games of 88. And not quite so successful in this second discipline. He was fourth, certainly, in the Olympic uh, clean and jerk. Seventh in the World Championships of 87 in this particular category. So fourth and seventh is... A, between fourth and seventh is about uh, his position overall now look good look good yes yes one or two nods of approval there for Michael Schubert he'll be followed by the American uh, Rick shoots. Let's have a look first of all at this uh, slow motion. Knees heavily strapped. Stance close, uh, feet close together. Split forward and back for Schubert. 352.5 kilograms his overall total. Um, so we will now start adding the two together. This is the third lift for uh, the American shoots. 24 years old, from Illinois, the student. His, uh, I've got his personal best uh, clean and jerk at 200 uh, kilograms with an overall total at 355. That uh, looks about right. This is at 195, so he's not going to go quite that far this time. This is his final lift. Long-legged uh, character. Well, you can hear the instructions Push. coming from the coach, isn't it? Split. Now. now, what will he get? Three white? I think so. Yes, he says. And there he's got the three white, 195 kilograms then. That's his uh, total. And that uh, quite clearly was much appreciated and enjoyed by the American camp. work a bit then consolidate compose and then attack again total 352 and a half kilograms now the Hungarians have a chance to look at one of their two main competitors here Bokfi his second lift and the bar is at 197.5 kilograms Bokfi, his best total this season prior to these championships, 382.5 kilograms. That is to say the total for the snatch added to the total for this discipline, the clean and jerk. 
just the two disciplines in uh, world weightlifting and individual performances in each of the disciplines rewarded by medals as well as the overall now what can he do oh no it looked as though he had it he did the most difficult part of the job and then it's gone a book fee of Hungary no need for the judges to judge that he knew what had happened so book fee of Hungary needing a third lift I would think at that uh, same weight no sense in moving on from there he was uh, sixth in the snatch overall that uh, with 162.5 kilograms and let's see what he can do later this is uh, Schubert again and it's his final lift at 197.5 been jerked uh, 195 on his uh, second lift you saw that everything's so precise complete balance concentration and you'll sit sit into it and attack it and move it and then get under it and then work again and then first phase complete now can he hold can he hold yes he can well very nice lift indeed that was his third and final lift very very well done indeed Schubert ninth after the snatch uh, discipline 197.5 there and that's very useful indeed good technique takes his time nice drive with the legs with that uh, split giving him that result 355 kilograms overall now what can Mr. Nokfi do this time 197.5 you saw the achievement in the snatch marked up on your screen there 162 and a half just to give you the first of the totals the two will be added together and we'll get that total if he's successful here to walk hard to hit there now yes yes this time yes if he can hold it he's got to stand firm now has he been a judge to have complete control I think he has the crowd think he has and the judges know that he has three white lights 197.5 kilograms get that total hopefully for you in a moment oh he went for that didn't he good solid uh, position firm base from which to move that was a very quick uh, snatch and uh, rather a movement a split movement 360 kilograms then the overall total and those uh, totals moving up as we get to the bigger men 167 and a half in the snatch we saw that uh, real problem he had and now Nemeth uh, takes his third lift at 202.5 and that is a very useful lift indeed if he can succeed at it yes they cry yes they cry look at that bar shaking away no he looked as though he was going to go for it didn't he more experience required but it'll come 202 and a half not successful but I can tell you that 195 will go down and make a very respectable total indeed make it 362.5 but we'll wait for the official uh, total to come up bar wavering there it is 195 362.5 confirmed 
that's uh, the lead at the moment. So the youngster putting the pressure on the senior competitors and Pavlos Salcidis has really impressed me here. We haven't seen too much of him before but uh, he's now attempting 205 kilograms and it's his first lift. So I can tell you this man is confident and what a good uh, snatch he had. He was in second place with 172.5 behind Botev who was out on a, in a class of his own. I have to say that. But that looks good and solid. Oh, big smile. <laughs> the Greek fans are here quite clearly and he knows where they are. Well, I wonder how far this uh, fellow will go. Certainly he's got uh, another couple of lifts to go to achieve even greater heights. 23 years old, that's all. Soccer player before 1982 when he started to take up this sport. Big fella to have on a pitch, I would think. First place overall then with his total. But will that uh, be improved? Now, there's a fellow who was disappointing in a sense in the snatch. Uh, he had a first very clear uh, lift at 170 kilograms and then uh, missed at 175 twice. So, say, in the middle there, those of you that uh, follow the sport won't need further reference. Coaching the Soviet uh, lifters, and there's no one better, I can tell you. That grip very narrow to the here. Uh, knees and arms will be passive on the first part of this lift and then underneath looks competent 207 and a half and this uh, fellow is a real powerhouse isn't he 207 and a half and that certainly uh, is the lead at the moment very fast he's overtaken uh, Salcedis very quick Stands up, big legs, very athletic, a lot of fast fibres around. And his overall first with 377.5 kilograms. Well, the training room waiting the arrival of Stefan Botev, the favourite. We'll see how he goes in the next... Welcome back to Budapest and welcome back to these World Weightlifting Championships. And a young Greek uh, lifter here uh, trying to make his name in World Weightlifting and he's doing very nicely. The lead at the moment held by the Soviet uh, lifter Mukhamidirov and uh, he has uh, 207.5 kilograms uh, to his credit. Uh, they've got the overall total situation, 377.5 to the Soviet. He's leading at the moment. Uh, we've still got uh, Botev of Bulgaria to come. I promised you that uh, before we went to the break. So, what about this fella? We haven't really heard too much about him. He's only 23. And uh, former soccer player, believe it or not. And now attempting 210 kilograms to attempt to go back into the lead. First phase in this clean and jerk. In middle position. Personal best coming here. He achieves it and he's got it there. Can he hold it? Can he hold? Yes he can and that is quite magnificent. Quite clearly a new face has emerged from 18th on the world rankings. Those rankings are now meaningless. The leader now with 382.5 kilograms overall. So, just take a close look. Uninhibited, total commitment. Gets out of that full squat position. The clean part of this uh, two-phase lift. Just to remind you that he did so well in the snatch with 172.5 and he's uh, now got a total that is a medal winning total I'm sure. Bukhamidorov of the Soviet Union coming in for his second lift and incidentally Salt Cedis still has one more lift to go and the Soviet knows he's up against it here 212.5 will 
go on to the bar. There's the overall lead, as I suggested to you, 382.5. He's taken over from this man. Uh, can he take it back? Now, uh, just looking at these totals, 212.5 will give the Soviet the same overall total, watched over by that very famous coach, of 382.5. Now, if that's the case, then the Soviet will be ahead uh, by virtue of the fact that he's the lighter man. Uh, body weight does come into it when there's a tie. 212.5 kilograms. Yes. Look how many did off. Oh yes, that was solid. Oh yes, a very determined look on a face there. 212.5. Well, certainly that uh, is the lead by virtue of being the lighter of the two lifters and that'll please him. Good solid citizen into that first phase and the bar bending and wavering as he pumps those arms up, assisted by the legs. Very basic technique. And there's the leader. Well, Pavlos Salizidis of Greece is third and final lift, and that too is at 212.5. And of course, uh, if he succeeds here, then he will go into uh, the lead with just uh, Botev of Bulgaria, who had such an enormous lead on the first of the two disciplines, the snatch, uh, to come. Salizidis. Lots of encouragement for him. He's had a championship that he will remember for a very long time. This is his coming of age in uh, major championships. He's already achieved 210 kilograms here. He's now attempting 212.5. Anxious looks from the Greek coaches. Now. Oh, no. No. But an applause for this man. He's in second place overall and has done so well. And Greece have a real a medal winning competitor here. And in fact, that uh, medal now assured a bronze. A bronze medal then, the first major uh, championship medal uh, for this 23-year-old uh, Greek lifter. So, the next lift will be taken by the Soviet uh, lifter, Kamedirov. He's attempting 220 kilograms. He leads uh, Salcedis of Greece by virtue of being the lighter of the two men. Now, can he underline uh, his uh, superiority, if there is to be a superiority, over the Greek uh, lifter? 220 kilograms. Remember the world record is 250.5 Yuri Zakharevich of the Soviet Union. All the performances have been down in these uh, championships. Botev is the only one that uh, really has come through. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. And that is a positive piece of underlining. Well, he shakes his head but I can assure you he's a happy man because that's firmly uh, placed him in second position overall. He's first place at the moment, but I can assure you that Botev has yet to lift and comes in at, we understand, 230 kilograms, 10 kilograms above the height uh, chosen as the third lift by this man in uh, first place at the moment, but likely to be in silver medal position at the end. So, here's the great man, there's the target, 390 kilograms to the Soviet, uh, Mukhamedirov. And uh, now, Botev looking to go for 230 kilograms here, and to total 430. And, uh, well, if he does that, it will make him the champion by a considerable margin. Look at 
fact, the margin is somewhere in the region of 40 kilos, I believe. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Look at that. Well, that's the gold medal on the very first lift, and I can tell you that that one lift has assured this man of being the world champion, not only in the snatch, but in the clean and jerk, and in the overall total, and it's now a matter of what will he do? Will he challenge the record? Lots of power. So strong, his legs so strong. And now composes himself and those arms underneath the split effective, the legs back into the vertical position, and Botev gets his gold medal. Well, a lot of interest as the weight's increased, and my goodness, that's an enormous uh, weight to lift. It's 240 kilograms. He's already got an overall total of 430 kilograms. He's the leader, of course. He is the reigning world champion, and I can tell you now, that he's retained his title already and he's going to have three medals around his neck and gold medal being awarded for each of the categories the snatch the first of the disciplines then this uh, discipline the clean and jerk and then of course the two totals added together to give the total the overall and an overall of 450 here if he can succeed 240. oh yes oh yes can he, get it he can, he really went for that. Oh, yes. And that is much appreciated. Not only the gold medal now, but pushing closer and closer uh, to world record figures. Stefan Botev of Bulgaria. The Bulgarians as a whole, the team uh, attempting to rebuild after the terrible traumas of the Seoul Olympics with the disqualifications uh, for drug abuse. The whole team went home and they've uh, been part of uh, a new credibility drive and this man is at the helm. Stefan Botev, the European champion, the reigning world champion, the new world champion, missed out on Olympic honours because of that uh, sending home episode not him in particular but the team as a whole and now well the bar has been put at 252.5 kilograms and if he were to succeed here in this clean and jerk it would set a new world record and it is the first world record attempt in these championships and it's fitting that a man of this stature should be making that attempt Phase oh, one, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. No, but applause for the champion. And he is a good champion. The world record attempt unsuccessful. And that's the first uh, failure on the lifts he's had today. And well, he says that was tough. I tell you, it's not going to be long before he does challenge it. Now, he gets it to phase one. That'll give him a lot of confidence for the future. There. Hard, though. Hard. Got a bend in that bar. So, oh, he really went, didn't he? Oh, yes. Couldn't hold that one. But he's the world champion anyway. Well, let's have a look at the full results. There we are, Botev, and look at the advantage he has in the clean and jerk. 20 kilograms over um, Hamidirov of the Soviet Union and the new find, Saltsidis of Greece, 210 kilograms. Let's have a look now at the overall uh, situation. There it is, Botev, the overall champion, and look at the margin of victory. 50 kilograms, 440 kilograms over Mukhamedirov of the Soviet Union, 390, and Saltsidis of Greece, 382.5. Well, that's it. Stefan Botev of Bulgaria is the most prolific of champions today. Hope you've enjoyed our brief look at these world championships. We leave you with the Champions Roll of Honor for 1990. From Stuart Story, goodbye. <laughs>